For those who don't know me online, my name is Mr. Dionisio. Um, so, yeah, Justin had asked me to share my testimony a couple weeks back, but now it's, uh, I guess, now it's finally time. To, uh, <laughs> um, so I grew up in uh, Middletown, New York, and uh, to a rather dysfunctional family. Uh, they weren't believers at all. They were uh, non-practicing Catholic, I would say. Um, my father was an alcoholic, and he was very uh, abusive towards my mother. And he was very abusive towards myself and my older sister. My little sister, not so much, but um, me and my older sister had to take the brunt of a lot of, uh, lot of things that were going on at home. And um, I grew up pretty much hating my dad. Uh, and it took me. It took me a while to forgive him, but uh, during, during, during the time I was growing up, there was uh, a lot of things going on in my house, and I just remember, as a kid, I would do whatever it took just not to go home. I would go to different after-school programs, I would just uh, hang out with friends. Sometimes I would just walk around town just to not go home, because I didn't want to deal with my father. Uh, it's just progressed. Now, fast forward, I was like 17, not like 18. And during this time, me and my father, we were just fighting all the time. And for, for the, the most minuscule things, you know. And we couldn't even stay in the same room together. And one day, uh, these fights almost turned physical. And he pushed me down to the ground and almost pressed on his face until my sister, uh, she got in between the both of us. And uh, after that, he had kicked me out of the house. So, uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to have a friend to help me out during that time, uh, to help me uh, find an apartment with other roommates and stuff like that. So I was alone in I don't know, but I had a roommate. Uh, but I felt as if I was on my own. I had to work uh, crazy hours. Uh, so it was like right after school, I, I, I had to work immediately and then come home at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't able to do my homework, I wasn't able to sleep, I wasn't able to do anything. So I ended up dropping out of school, which uh, made things even worse made me feel even worse about uh, myself, really. Uh, I was hanging out with friends, uh, people that I shouldn't have hung out with. I was separated from all my real friends. I wasn't in touch with uh, any of my sisters. Definitely wasn't calling my dad. Um, my mother wasn't really involved in the situation either. Um, so I just felt really isolated. And I was really sad, really depressed. And just basically trying to medicate everything with, you know, uh, just weed and alcohol, just to uh, feel good. And it felt, it felt almost like the only time I was having fun was when I was engaging in like alcohol, you know, just drink the pain away, you know. Uh, I had gotten with this with this girl I didn't even like. <laughs> it sounds crazy saying that, but <laughs> I got with this girl I didn't even like uh, because I I wanted to feel like I mattered to somebody. And during that period of time, sorry, I got food in my mouth. But uh, <laughs> during that period of time, it uh, I just felt like I didn't have anything, and my life didn't matter. I felt like I would be, I felt as if everyone would be better off if I was gone, you know? And I found out that this girl was like, she was running around with somebody else. And even though the relationship wasn't that serious, it really, really got to me. It really, it really broke me. So I, I, I wanted to commit suicide. But 
I was afraid that if I committed suicide, I was gonna go to hell. So uh, I, I prayed to the Lord, and I said, Lord, if you, if you exist, if you're real, if heaven and hell is real, show me or, or tell me, otherwise there's no reason to live. And five minutes, I was like at Walmart when I prayed this prayer. And five minutes, not even five minutes, not even, I will it. After I prayed that prayer in the parking lot, uh, a man walked up to me and he handed me a gospel track that was for kids because he thought I was younger than, <laughs> than my age. And it said, Jesus loves you. And it was exactly what I needed to, to hear or see on the track. Um, he invited me to Bible study the following day and uh, I heard the gospel for the first time. And uh, yeah, I gave my life to, to, to the Lord and life has been an adventure ever since. Um, and, and God, praise God. Um, I was able to see my father uh, give his life to Christ. And our relationship was restored. Um, I have a better relationship with my mother now as opposed to back then. Um, I was involved in a really, really horrific car accident that really should have taken my life. Long story short, I was hit by a tractor trailer. The, the car that I was in was hit by a tractor trailer on the highway. Uh, and um, yeah, I thought we were gonna die. But the Lord, it's, it's crazy because during that time, I was scared at first, but um, when, when, when God, I, I felt the presence of the Lord during that time that I was hit in, in, that, um, in that accident. It was, it was crazy and I felt as if, if I were to die, everything was, was gonna be all right. Yeah, I, just, I just felt the, the presence of God so mightily, I wasn't even afraid. Um, as a result of that accident, I seen one of my close friends give his, uh, give his life to the Lord as well. And God has just been doing so many wonderful things. Um, I was able to get my GED shortly after. Uh, I have something else to say, but I forgot. <laughs> uh, I was able to go to Bible college, um, which really instilled theology into me. So, yeah, praise God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.